tell them God is not the one that brought fire to consume people. They, they want to tear their throats. How, how is that my fault that your pastor didn't teach you the right thing? Go and insult your pastor. Leave me alone. I'm only helping you and your pastor from, from the ignorance that has afflicted both of you for long. You should be thanking me that I am throwing doubt on what you have believed so that you can rethink and come out. There are miracles that were done in the Old Testament, but they cannot be done today in the name of Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 11, did you notice something was kept? All the plagues that destroyed the Egyptians was not mentioned in the book of Hebrews because it was a major event in the Jewish history, but it was not an act of faith. So that's why the book of Hebrews 11 that records the exploits of faith in the Old Testament excluded the plagues. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. Lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. So it was not God that destroyed the firstborn. The part God played in the destruction of the firstborns was to preserve. In other words, from that text, you will see that the plagues didn't come from God. That's why they are not recorded as exploits of faith. Hebrews 11 is where you have all the exploits of faith from the Old Testament. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do were drowned. Read the next verse. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed. The about moment them. they passed the Red Sea, no record of all that happened after the Red Sea for 40 years. The next thing you will see is Joshua in Jericho. Because 40 years were years of unbelief and they cannot be recorded in Hebrews 11. Anything you don't see in Hebrews 11 was not an exploit of faith in the Old Testament. Because Hebrews 11 is the epistles binoculars that runs through the faith exploits of the Old Testament beginning from by faith Abel. It started from Genesis chapter 4 and it ran down till the end of the Old Testament. So anything you don't see there was not an exploit of faith. That's how you will know which one God did and which one God didn't do. Rightly divided. Have I told you that the epistles are the rightly divided word of truth? Yes. So Hebrews 11 divided the miracles that were done by God in the Old Testament and the ones that were not done by God. Elijah's fire is not there. Look at him. We tell them God is not the one that brought fire to consume people. They, they want to tear their trousers. How, can, how, how is that my fault? That your pastor didn't teach you the right thing. Go and insult your pastor. Leave me alone. I'm only helping you and your pastor from, from the ignorance that has afflicted both of you for long. How is that my fault? Am I your CRK teacher? Was I the one that put a yellow book in your family table? Stop blaming me. You should be thanking me that I am throwing doubt on what you have believed so that you can rethink and come out. We have not started though. They think I am dangerous. They are waiting for you. Because you will be you will be an improvement on my madness. Hila. The moment they crossed the Red Sea, nothing was said about 40 years of unbelief. The next thing is the walls of Jericho. Because the book of Hebrews only records the exploits of faith that God did. Anyone God didn't do will not appear there. That's why there will be no David and Bathsheba in Hebrews 11. Because it wasn't an exploit of faith. That's why there will be no Samson and Delilah in Hebrews 11. It wasn't an exploit of faith. That's why even Moses who ran away from Egypt for killing somebody. Hebrews 11 said it was because he wanted to be identified with the reproach of Christ that he forsook Egypt. He didn't run. He just forsook because he had a better choice. It was an act of faith. Because Moses was on a mission. From his birth, it was a mission that God himself was involved in. He was preparing a deliverer for Israel, a typology of Jesus setting us free. So everything that followed Moses' actions, they were recorded. They were acts of faith. Even Rahab, hiding the spies and saying they are not there was an act of faith. I didn't say she lied. I said she hid the spies and she said they were not there. It was a miracle to preserve life. That's why you see it in Hebrews 11. It was an act of faith. Look, if he vex you, fight with your Bible. I'm only telling you what is there. The giving of the law is not in Hebrews 11. It was not an act of faith. So there is a marker. That marker is we cannot attribute evil as the power of God. Because the power of God is to save. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Power of God cannot be found in destruction. The power of God can only be found within the framework of salvation. If you don't know that, that means you are still new here. 
you need to get somebody to disciple you quickly we have done several series explaining that even when they say god in the old testament it has to be explained because the old testament must be explained that's why i did a teaching if you want to get all the teaching that exposes all that is law and prophets part one and two and they misunderstood god season one two three four five you can take that for breakfast first <laughs>